Welcome to Speed Academy Plus. It's our second channel, everyone. You may not know we have one, but we do. And it's for cool occasions like this where we didn't necessarily get to shoot the episode we wanted for the main channel, but we thought this car is so cool. We got to get to the racetrack and see how it does. And if you're not familiar with this car, well, this is a 2010 Honda Civic SI sedan that we built for our buddy Cavill as a thank you for all the help he's given us over the years with detailing our cars. He runs a, a really high quality uh, detailing business called Make It Shine in the GTA. So if your car needs to look better, go check him out. And we did a quick build of this car. It's a three episode series on our main channel where we did all the good stuff to it. So we did like a lip kit, a Mugen rear wing. We did Continental Extreme Contact Sport tires on these beautiful Anki wheels. We did a hybrid uh, racing intake system as well as a hybrid racing shift knob. And we did a uh, coilover kit from Annex Suspension. This is their Fast Road Pro setup. And man, we love how these ride on the street, but we want to see how they do at the track. And we want to see if we can knock some lap time off of Cavill's base lap time that he did in this car before we built it of a one minute, 29 second flat. So our goal here today is to go, I don't know, two, three seconds quicker than that. I think that's certainly achievable with the mods that we've done on this car. And if you haven't watched that series yet, go over to our main channel, watch it so you can see what we've done in detail, then come back and watch this and see how much quicker we go. So the plan is the old DP is going to jump in there, rip a few laps, see what he can do for lap time. And then the young whippersnapper, Cavill behind the camera here, will go on to see if he can beat me up and make me feel bad on my birthday. It's my birthday, everyone, and he's going to try to beat me. Happy birthday, Dave. Don't do it, Cavill. Don't do it. <laughs> wow, it feels weird. It's been so long since I've been here. It's so sad. Pete and I have been in uh, car build hell for so long. We haven't had much time to get it to the track, so exciting times to finally rip some tech and on my birthday no less this is good stuff okay onto the front straight engaging the VTEC aggressively this is what it's this is what Honda life's all about boys and girls this feels good it's gonna take my time get a bit of a feel for the car a bit of feel for the track put a little heat in the tires Put a little heat in my brain. Have some fun. Oh yeah, this car is feeling really good already. These Condi Extreme Contact Sport tires just never cease to amaze me. They take track use or track abuse so well. You know, it's it's not a track tire. It's a 340 Treadwear summer tire, but very at home on the racetrack. Really confidence inspiring and surprisingly high grip levels. Like this car feels hooked up. Wow. Very impressed by the roll control and the overall ride quality on these Annex coilovers so far. The car feels very stable. Not sensing any handling imbalances at the moment. It doesn't feel understeery, but it doesn't feel loose either. It just feels good. Wow, grip level is really high. course here probably stick it in third through there but hey not my car let's use all the rpm sorry Cavill's dad but I am here to rip deck I'm gonna rip it good using the ABS a bit there cuz if you've got it you might as well use it they put in here at TMP kind of help delineate the limits of the track a bit more clearly which is nice keeps people from using the dirt line myself included <laughs> feels good 126.9 it's not bad we can definitely do better though but I do feel like the brake pedals already getting a little long on me Might be boiling the fluid. Also gonna catch this FRS, which tells you that how quick this car is. I mean, FRSs are really capable cars around here. And we are gonna catch them up here. Let me buy, it's just gonna work out really well. Made a bit of a mess. 
mess with that downshift, but we're still we're still ripping here, so not gonna let up yet. down because I'm starting to get a really long pedal here 126.7 I think we can knock a second off that if I'm honest but uh, I don't want to take any chances given how long the brake pedal starting to feel here we need to put some uh, high performance brake fluid in this car Cavill we we overlooked that and uh, I'll take the blame I should have thought about it because Street cars have street brake fluid in them and at a track like TMP, which does put a lot of heat strain, a lot of heat stress into the braking system, you do need a good brake fluid. So uh, future upgrade there for Cavill. And uh, other than that, man, the car is driving exceptionally well. I've forgotten how much fun these 8th gen Civics really are. I feel pretty good about uh, the handling balance. And I'm just gonna get out of the way here and let this guy pass me as I'm on a cool down lap. And I will let this next guy by me too. Give you a nice view of an EF. Lifting a rear tire there, always fun to see. Uh, maybe I'll just uh, get off the track here a little more quickly. Don't want to spend too much time cooling her down. But man, what do you say we throw Cavill in here, see if he can beat my lap time. And then if he does, well, I'll go back out and try to save face because uh, I got the excuse of being old. It's my birthday and I'm rusty because I haven't been here in three months. So uh, those are all my racer excuses for now. Let's see what Cavill can do. And there's the pedal. Oh, wow. The turning is amazing. And the car is so smooth over those bumps. I know in my in my EK trucker, the car just it's got so, it's so stiffly sprung. Uh, it just hops over it. This is just soaking everything up. My God, this is so smooth. So we're just on a warm up here. This is amazing. Wow, such a difference. The car has nice rotation, very smooth. Just as Cavill begins to really wind his Civic up and get ready to rip some proper tech, guess what happens everyone? That's right, the GoPro craps out on him, so you're not going to get to see a complete hot lap here, but he did do a best of a 126 flat, and in fact he went out and did a few more cheater laps after I left and got down to a 125.5. And looking at his data, there's a 124 in this car, which is very, very impressive. Super pumped on the mods we did on this car, they all worked extremely well. And as a matter of fact, if you want a discount on a set of these Annex coilovers, loving these fast road pros, but you can also put the discount towards their club spec pros, $125 off, discount code in the description below. Well everybody, it's my birthday and he beat me. I know, I whooped your ass. <laughs> you I'm, did. I'm sorry buddy. <laughs> you did, you did. You had a 125.7 showing there, right? Uh, 125.76 I think on the predicted. Yes. Uh, I didn't get my shit together. But he still beat me by like a half second. I, I was like, I, I, if I'm going to beat Dave, I got I to gotta whoop your ass. He, he, he so. went easy on me. Yeah. I appreciate it. And, and man, the car feels super hooked up. It's It's got a 24 in it for sure. Yeah, I mean, yeah. we both kind of drove like uh, old men, if we're honest. <laughs> yeah. It's been a while. I'm totally out of practice, but yeah. I love how stuck to the track this car felt. There's there's an abundance of grip. And that's why I really think like if we can get our shit together, uh, there, there is a, a 24. Absolutely. High 24 for sure. Yeah. In the car. yeah. Which for a 
you know, lightly modified Civic Si. I think it's really, really good. What What's amazing too, and I, I agree completely, what's amazing too is I, if I think about my EK two years ago, mm -hmm. trying to get like a 23, yeah. my 23 was. Oh, it was a battle. It was a battale. And, and that's a case swapped EK, it was yeah. a lot lighter than this car. Yeah, yeah. Shows you how good this chassis is and, it really and is. like how good these tires are, how good these coilovers are. The package is, it's the working package really is nice, well. man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm pumped on it. So uh, hope you guys found that informative. I know I had a lot of fun. Same. And uh, thank you for everyone, all four of you who wish me a happy birthday below. And thank you, Cavill, for the cupcake and letting no me problem, beat on your car. And thank you, oh, eBay, nice for one. making this whole build yeah, possible. Yeah, really and uh, all of the parts suppliers, everything we've done to this car really has worked exceptionally it, it's well. It's come together really well, like just, just amazing. Yeah. And you've driven it on the street a bunch too. And Yeah, so it's been in the family for 10 years, this car. My, yes. dad, my dad picked it up in 20, 2012, so almost 10 years. Right. So I've, I've been driving it for a long time and, and it, it's not even the same car. And yeah. Really all we did was just throw a bunch of, of bolt-on parts. Yeah. We haven't even begun to scratch We the haven't surface. reinvented the wheel there at yeah. all, but yeah. uh, the ride quality on the annex suspension on the street, uh, how have you found it so far? I, I really like it. Um, I was telling you earlier how the factory suspension comes a little over dampened mm -hmm. and, it, and it crashes a bit on the street. Yeah. Um, this car is like that without the crashing without the harshness right it's got really really good control even coming through like the s's and stuff like mm. the car is just so composed yeah um, it doesn't look like it has a lot of body roll out on the track either like, yeah. and, it, and driving it it feels very composed too yeah. never feels like it's pitching too much yeah. doesn't have a lot of nose dive yeah. it, it, all the motions in all directions feel very yeah. well controlled yeah. so even coming out of like turn 12 where you're like really heavy on the brakes sort of trail braking through yeah the car doesn't the car just looks so so composed. it does and yeah. all we did was Set the dampers in the middle, yeah. 12 clicks out of 24, front and rear. Yeah. Put like 32 hot pressure in yep. the tires and, yeah. and go and rip. We yeah. literally did three laps each. Yeah. So there's a lot more time tons, if we chase tons. setup yeah. and just drive better because we're yeah. both rusty. <laughs> so man, love love this package. I think it yeah. shows how promising this is. So yeah. maybe we'll come back with some brakes that don't fade after a couple of laps. Uh, that would be nice. And uh, get our, our game on. And yeah. uh, part two, I'm going to I'm gonna get revenge in part two, everyone. <laughs> we're going to go 24s and DPs and, coming out on top how, on that one. How about we bring Chucker too? Chucker, and then we can yeah. do a shootout on that. Yeah, that's right. That's yeah. his EK hatchback that's K20 swap. So uh, yeah, we got to have a Honda a battle let's yeah. do it buddy yeah cool all right cavill say goodbye to the internet everyone take care internet goodbye internet soon. we'll see you later cheers cheers